Breaking news at six, the body of Boston Marathon bombing suspect number one released by the medical examiner. Tamerlan Sarnayev's family claiming his body within the last 30 minutes. And this is a day after three more people were arrested for their connection to the Sarnayev's brother. Uh, seven, Steve Cooper joining us in Boston now with more. Coop. Well, Reed, that announcement coming from the Executive Office of Public Safety just a short time ago that the body of Tamerlan Zanayev has been released to a funeral service, not to family members, but family members apparently contracted out to a funeral service to go to the morgue and pick up that body, to claim the body, but no word on a cause of death. That information won't be coming out until the death certificate is filed at City Hall in Boston, and that hasn't happened yet. In the meantime, life goes on here along along Boylston Street, and that's a good thing. And while that goes on, the father of one of the three suspects who was arrested yesterday after being implicated for what they did after the bombings, well, he's speaking out tonight. While Azmat Duzerkov, Dias Kanderbayev, and Robel Filipos all remain behind bars tonight at the Essex County House of Corrections in Middleton, Kanderbayev's father is speaking out in defense of his son. I can say about my son that he finished school with excellent grades, he was good at maths, he helped others. When he saw that help was needed, he always accommodated. All three are facing charges for their alleged role after the marathon bombings, which according to the feds, included destroying evidence and lying to investigators. Prosecutors maintain the trio grabbed Johar Zanayev's backpack from his dorm room at UMass Dartmouth and tossed it in a dumpster. FBI agents scouring a New Bedford landfill located the backpack loaded with fireworks and other items. Kendabayev's dad says that vanity plate on his son's car that says Terrorista was a joke. In America, they don't put front license plates on. You could put whatever you want on the front license plates. This was a gift from their Spanish friends, it turns out. It's an unusual gag, a joke. Prosecutors are now in possession of the younger Zanayev's missing computer. NBC's Michael Isikoff says that's a huge break for investigators. That's what can tell the FBI who was Zanayev in contact with, who was he emailing with, um, what websites was he looking at. No word tonight on where Tamerlan Zanayev's body will be taken now and no word on where he will be buried, whether it'll happen here in the United States or back in Dagestan. In the meantime, federal and state investigators continue to decline our request for on-camera interviews, but on ca off-camera they are telling us they aren't ruling out the possibility of more arrests here. They will say is their investigation is ongoing and active tonight. We're live in Boston. Steve Cooper, 7 News. More